Okay, I'm going to do this quick video. Um, one of the guys from the photography club has asked me to show him how to do a quick composite of two photos. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to do this in, uh, in Photoshop. So I'm going to go ahead and launch Photoshop. As soon as that comes up. All right, so we have Photoshop. We're going to go ahead and open up the first picture that we're going to work with. And this is one of uh, this is one of John's pictures that he posted on. Uh, he posted on Facebook and I'm going to just use his picture for an example. This is one of John's pictures that he stacked using um, sky stacker and notice here at the bottom it had a tree that um, was showing up multiple times and I mentioned to him that man that's a beautiful picture and the bottom here we can just stack another picture for the horizon and uh, and and make one composite using one uh, another picture so that's what we're going to do now so it's very simple to do um let me close this here very simple to do um you have to do this in photoshop because it, it requires layers so what we're going to do is just i'm going to open up um, file explorer and i got it opened up over here and uh so basically opening up file explorer i'm gonna go find the other picture which i have on this folder and then i'm gonna just simply drag it from file explorer right over the top of this so i'm just gonna let it go there's the other picture that i want to um uh put in there so i'm gonna drag it down because i'm gonna put it down at the bottom and uh at this point I can go ahead and hit um, hit the check mark up here to to place it. So now I have these two pictures in there. There's two layers over here. Um, what we're gonna do now is um, you can actually click in these little eyeballs. You can hide that layer, and then this is the other layer. So the the rising moon is 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 on top. But what we need to do now is. I need to put the rising moon on the bottom. Um, so, so what I have to do is click this lock here to unlock it. Basically, just click click on it that unlocks it. Now you can drag <clears throat> drag the rising moon, which is this one, down to the bottom. And then, um, so so both pictures are there, but now you're just seeing the the main the main photo. So if I hide this top picture you see the bottom one so now what we're gonna do is simply um, create a layer mask so highlight the main picture down here at the bottom you'll see the the um, at layer mask click on that that'll add this li little layer mask here and you want to make sure that's highlighted there then you want to come over to the left here and just keep this in mind that black reveals and white conceals so right now everything is white in the layer mask so everything's concealed but once you select black and then you select the brush and you want to you want to pick some you want to lower the opacity and the flow on the brush because you want to bring this in kind of subtle you don't want it at 100 percent so there's my brush and the, the size of the brush. I'm going to increase it a little bit by hitting the right bracket. So right about, I think right about there is good. And then what I'm just going to do is start painting at the bottom and that's going to start bringing in the, the bottom picture. So just keep going back and forth. And you can see it's bringing in that other photo. So it brought it in. Now, what you want to do is um, 
if if you needed to bring back some of the the original photo back in all you have to do is click on this little double arrow here that'll make that'll make the brush white remember white white conceals so if you say okay i want to conceal this right here you can do that you can just go ahead and conceal a little bit actually you can lower this as well to kind of bring it in gradually and if you see what I'm doing right now I'm just going around that tree to kind of gradually bring that in make it bigger oops make my brush smaller so I could surgically right now I got the white brush selected so that's gonna basically bring in the main photo so that's what I'm doing now Let me go around here make this smaller here paint these areas right here kind of blend in the blend in around the tree there so it doesn't have that glow but we're almost done here guys we are almost done uh, and let me go back to black again to bring we lost some of the branches here so i'm gonna bring those branches back in so i selected the black so it'll reveal those branches but that's that's pretty much it we're done um what you want to do at the, at the very end is just um right click the bottom one and hit flatten image and that kind of collapses everything at this point you can just save the picture um but i do notice there's like a little problem with the edge here so i'm gonna take the healing brush and fix that real quick with the healing brush um just gonna heal that and boom that's healed uh we're pretty much done with the picture uh, but notice how much different it looks now with that horizon in there. I'm um, going to go ahead and end the, the video. And hopefully, John, if you're watching this video and you still have questions, um, just give me a call. All right.